again, Simon Killing here. Thanks for clicking on WeatherWeb TV once again. This is the Aviation Weekend Weather Forecast issued on Thursday the 7th of February. Now, of course, we're very much still in the pre-beta phase at the moment, but hopefully over the next few weeks you'll see some changes taking place at WeatherWeb Top TV. Things will become a little bit more professional, hopefully, on the uh, website. And also, you may well see some new presenters coming in who are also forecasters, so things are certainly developing. Remember to spread the word around your friends about the video, and uh, whatever you do, have a great weekend. Let's take a look at what the forecast is going to be like. OK, so the pressure chart for Friday then shows low pressure off northern Scotland, high pressure across northern Europe. And we've got that front, that cold front line through Scotland and also Ireland too. I think along that front we're going to find bases of about 1,000 feet, tops on it at about 10,000 feet and outbreaks of rain too. So moderate or poor visibility right the way along the front. Also through the Irish Sea and I think coming up through parts of Cornwall too off the southwest approaches we could have low cloud too. I think they're uh, probably bases of about 700 feet, tops of about uh, four to 5,000 feet. For much of uh, England and also eastern Wales and eastern Scotland though better here, bases of two to two and a half thousand feet with the tops up at about 6,000 feet and visibility good. Now these are the winds for 5,000 feet for midday tomorrow. Southwesterly is generally at about 15 knots across much of England and Wales, although 20 knots there through central Wales. Generally across Ireland, western Wales through the Irish Sea, southwest is at 20 to 25 knots. And also there you can see the winds over eastern England, southwesterly 20 to 25 knots. Across Scotland, things are much stronger though at 5,000 feet, southwesterly at 35 knots at times, and also temperatures dropping below freezing from the west, so the freezing level is going to be coming down to as low as 5,000 feet, I think, during the latter part of Friday afternoon here. For Saturday, we're into a warm sector with that warm front off towards the east, the cold front off towards the west, but look how high pressure is building. Really, pressure is nice and high across much of the country. So I think we'll be seeing generally fair conditions across much of the country. Again, though, still this problem with low cloud, mist and fog and some drizzle affecting Irish Sea coasts. Here, bases of about 400 feet, tops probably around 5,000 feet. I think two western parts of Scotland could be troubled by that cold front, bases of about 1,200 feet with tops of 8,000 feet here. For much of England and Wales, though, visibility generally is going to be good. I think uh, bases starting off in the morning could be as low as 1,800 feet in some sheltered areas of the Midlands and perhaps northwest England, but improving through the day, I think becoming three to 3,500 feet, tops of about 6,000 feet. 5,000 foot winds for midday on Saturday, south to south south westerlies, typically about 10 knots. I think through western areas, south to south westerlies, about 10 to 15 knots. Across uh, eastern parts of the country, here we're looking at south southwesterlies to southwesterlies at about 15 knots. And through Scotland, stronger again, southwesterlies at 25 to 30 knots. And you can see there that the temperatures are pretty close to freezing at 5,000 feet. On to Sunday now, and the high pressure really has started to build in by then. It's starting to move into the British Isles, although we've got that front line through Scotland again. I think that brings low cloud through Northern Ireland and Scotland, bases about 4,000 feet, tops of 9,000 feet, and moderate to poor visibility here throughout, with spells of rain and also drizzle. For most of the country, though, things are fine. I think less risk of low cloud through the coasts of Wales, South West England and North West England during the course of Sunday, although still quite a risk of low cloud drifting onto the southern coast of Ireland. I think generally for much of the country, we're looking at bases of about two and a half to 3,000 feet, tops of 6,000 feet and good visibility. So the winds then, this is at 5,000 feet on Sunday, generally southerly at about 5 knots, going more southeasterly at 5 knots across the channel. For the western parts of the UK, southerly at about 5 to 10 knots once again, and also for eastern parts of the UK, south to south southwesterly at about 5 knots. You can see how warm the air is there, 5 degrees Celsius at 5,000 feet. And then for Scotland, south south is about 10 knots, the freezing level coming into northern Scotland, and I think that could provide some icy... 
So there you have it, the forecast for the weekend. Remember to spread the word to your friends and keep sending your feedback in to me too. Now, do you know an advert or a sponsor who might be interested in popping an advert on the website? If you do, please get in touch. Perhaps even your school might like to pop an advert on WeatherWeb TV. Please, once again, ask them to get in touch with us. And whatever you do, have a great weekend.